The Virgin Islands National Guard turned 44 on October 19th. The uniform of the day was white hazmat suits, gloves, and surgical masks worn by guard members who clean schools and public facilities that have yet to reopen post storms. They also removed waterlogged books, water damaged furniture, and replaced ceiling tiles. All right, we're making sure the book has no water damage, also no mold on it. There's no green or black spores around the book. There's no water damage. So you're making sure if it does have water damage, you have to put it in the garbage bag, throw it out. The kids are the future, so they need to start back school. This civic assistance effort was particularly of high importance for Kevray Hendricks, a warrant officer candidate with the Virgin Islands National Guard. Hendricks also serves as the band director at the St. Croix Educational Complex High School, a facility with a student body population of 1,300. The infrastructure held up really well, but the internal effects and lasting effects of the storm um, um, I think it's going to take a lot longer to get those things dealt with than people are expecting. Between six to eight schools that may be condemned uh, based off of structural damage, water damage, um, based off of the storm. So right now community involvement is definitely important because without the education, the students um, basically is going to struggle to get to the next level. Schools like this one are expected to reopen October 30th. Reporting on assignment in the Virgin Islands, I'm Technical Sergeant Arthur Mondale Wright, D.C. National Guard.